Sikorsky's rotor-blown wing pro prodder concept has evolved into something far bigger than anyone expected, a full family of scalable VTECL drones designed to redefine how the U.S. military conducts air operations in the 21st century. Called the Nomad, this new generation of autonomous aircraft promises something the Pentagon has been craving for years, runway independence, endurance, and flexibility across land, sea, and contested zones. This isn't just another drone line. It's a major step in the evolution of uncrewed warfare and logistics. So what exactly makes Sikorsky's Nomad family so groundbreaking, and why might it shape the future of aerial systems in the years ahead? At its core, the Nomad design uses a tail-sitting configuration with twin pro prodders. Essentially, the aircraft stands vertically on its tail for takeoff and landing like a helicopter, and then transitions forward into flight like a fixed-wing plane. This combination grants the Nomad drones the unique ability to operate without runways while maintaining the speed, range, and fuel efficiency of a traditional airplane. It's a configuration that's been in development for years through Sikorsky's rotor-blown wing experiments, and now it's matured into a family of aircraft ranging from compact hybrid electric models to drones the size of a Black Hawk helicopter. What's especially significant here is the Pentagon's growing emphasis on runway independence. In a future conflict, say across the Indo-Pacific or in a contested European theater, traditional bases will be high-priority targets. The U.S. military knows that large fixed airfields are vulnerable and that forces will need to operate from improvised, dispersed, and even mobile bases. The Nomad family directly addresses this reality. These drones can launch from a remote dirt patch, a ship deck, or even the back of a tactical vehicle. And once they're born, they can carry out missions ranging from surveillance to resupply to precision strikes. Sikorsky describes Nomad as a family of scalable platforms. At the small end is the Nomad 50, a 10.3-foot wingspan hybrid electric drone that's already flying extended test missions. The next step up is the Nomad 100, an 18-foot Group 3 drone now entering flight testing, and beyond that lies the Group 4 Nomad with a potential 500-pound payload capacity. That upper-tier model could carry advanced ISR sensors or even weapons like Hellfire missiles and small-diameter bombs. And all above that, Sikorsky is teasing an even larger variant, an aircraft potentially capable of carrying passengers or cargo, bridging the gap between unmanned logistics and manned rotorcraft. Now, what ties all these drones together is Sikorsky's Matrix Autonomy System, developed with DARPA, which enables the aircraft to perform fully autonomous operations, from takeoff and navigation to mission execution and landing. Think of it as the digital brain that turns a high-performance drone into a self-managing combat partner. Matrix has already been tested on helicopters like the U-8600 Blackhawk, and its integration into Nomad signals a serious step toward pilot-optional operations across the entire military ecosystem. The implications here are huge. With a fleet of Nomads, the military can conduct distributed ISR, execute contested logistics, or perform quick strike missions, all without risking air crews or requiring airfield access. In a Pacific conflict scenario, nomads could be stationed aboard destroyers, supply ships, or even island outposts, moving supplies and intelligence data between nodes in a vast network of distributed forces. Sikorsky executives also hint that Nomad could take over certain roles currently handled by manned helicopters like the Black Hawk or Seahawk, particularly intelligence and reconnaissance missions. As one company leader put it, you don't necessarily need a crewed Black Hawk to do that mission, Nomad's going to do that the drone becomes part of a broader kill web, sharing data across air, land, and sea assets to extend situational awareness and sensor-to-shooter connections. In simpler terms, the Nomad won't replace helicopters, it'll multiply their effectiveness, creating a wider, smarter network of connected platforms. Beyond combat roles, the Nomad's modularity and hybrid electric systems offer significant logistical and maintenance advantages. Each drone's power module, for instance, can be swapped out in the field, its design allows easy replacement of critical components, keeping maintenance costs low and uptime high. The hybrid electric powertrain also reduces fuel consumption, critical in extended operations where resupply is uncertain. But perhaps the most futuristic part of this entire concept lies in its operation model. Imagine a small army detachment or a marine unit launching a nomad from a clearing or ship deck using nothing more than a tablet. Two or three soldiers send it off, the drone transitions into flight, 
and as it moves across the battle space, it can seamlessly switch control between units, one brigade handing it off to another, each using it for their own mission need. This kind of autonomy and interoperability is exactly what future multi-domain operations will demand. Sikorsky is also positioning the Nomad family as part of the broader trend toward mass, affordable, and intelligent unmanned systems. The idea isn't to build one exquisite billion-dollar drone, it's to field many smaller modular ones that can operate in swarms, in coordination with manned aircraft, or autonomously in hostile territory. And while the military applications are front and center, Sikorsky also sees civilian potential, cargo transport, firefighting, search and rescue, and even passenger variants. The company has hinted that future nomads could evolve into tilt-wing versions capable of carrying people or large payloads, essentially merging drone technology with next-generation air mobility. When you zoom out, the Nomad is more than a product. It's a vision of the US military's next era of air power, distributed, resilient, and autonomous. In a world where air bases may not be safe and air crews face increasing risk, Runway independent drones like Nomad could become the backbone of logistics and surveillance networks. They can fill the gap between small quadcopters and massive Reaper class UAVs, providing the flexibility and endurance modern warfare demands. Sikorsky's move isn't just innovation, it's adaptation. After decades of helicopter dominance, the company is pivoting toward the unmanned battle space, applying everything it's learned from rotorcraft engineering to a new generation of scalable VTECL drones. It's a smart, forward-looking response to where the Pentagon and warfare itself is heading. Overall, Nomad represents more than just an aircraft family. It's a strategic answer to one of the US military's biggest challenges, how to stay agile, connected, and effective in an era of contested skies and dispersed forces. The future of combat won't be fought from massive bases or carrier decks. It'll be fought from wherever you can land, refuel, or launch. And the Nomad looks ready to take off.